Hi, John with eTrailer. Okay, so you have your Telluride, you have the third row seating, and you still need more room. Here's a popular accessory. This is the Thule roof rack system. It's going on our 2023 Kia Telluride. So one of the reasons I like this system so much is just maybe for this. Uh, you can throw a roof box up here and gain a ton of space inside your vehicle. A lot of times if you're traveling, your hitch is already going to be used either towing a trailer or if you have a bike rack or something back there. It's easier to load bikes on the back than up on the roof. But this system can take a bike rack as well. You can also load kayaks up there. All right, so the crossbars come in black. They also come in silver. Um, so it's going to give you a couple of different color choice combinations. They are 53 inch crossbars. They're going to add approximately four inches of height from your, from your rail up to the top up here. Um, if you have T-slot accessories, this is something else I like. You just flip this forward and you have access to the T-slot here. So another feature that I like uh, is the noise or wind noise. These, uh, crossbars are pretty aerodynamic. Everything touching your Telluride is going to have a rubberized surface, even the coatings down here. Now, if you would prefer to have a little bit more security, we do have lock cores available, so you can actually lock these crossbars to the Telluride. Now, this system is super easy to install. It'll take you maybe 30 minutes. You can do it in your garage. You can do it on your driveway. If you want to see how we did it, stick around. All right, so to begin the install here, we've already got one of the crossbars installed. So that's going to be our end result. What we can do right now is show you how to assemble the crossbar. We're going to have everything here that came in the kit. You have the feet, you've got the crossbar itself, the end caps, and then you have the custom fit fit kit here. Um, also, this is a torque tool. Uh, it's really an Allen head, but it'll torque to a specified setting uh, so that we know that our feet are on tight. So to begin with, we can assemble our feet. We're going to grab one foot here, and this is going to be the top section. These parts on the fit kit actually are stamped A and then C. So go ahead and grab A. I'm going to slide that over the tabs like that. We'll take one of the feet. And they just snap in to the bottom of it like that. And then you could take part C here. We're going to go over the hook. And then we'll have the screw exposed there. And then take, you have a threaded end on this nut, and then you have the hex head end which the tool is going to insert into. So we'll take the threaded end and just spin this on about two rotations or so. And essentially, this foot's complete. We'll go ahead and repeat that for the other. Now with our feet assembled, we're going to go ahead and install them on the crossbar. We can take the crossbar. Underneath, you'll see that it has a T-slot. And the top of our foot has the metal and the two plastic fittings on top. Those will actually just slide in like that, and it's a good time to go ahead and put our end cap on, like that. We'll go ahead and repeat this on the other side. With the crossbar assembled with the feet, we'll go ahead and we can swing this up and over. It's be good to have a, an extra set of hands, but these are pretty light and it's not too bad to handle and we'll set these on our rails. Now I marked with painter's tape on the car uh, the minimum distance that Thule recommends to have these crossbars set up. So uh, we can see how the different widths are going to affect it. If you have different accessories you can move them back and forth. Just make sure that you don't go any closer than the minimum recommended distance. So once we have it set up here, everything is still loose. You can see the crossbar is able to move left and right. So you're going to want to center this. You can get a tape measure um, or just eyeball it. We're going to go ahead and set it in here. This should be pretty good. So once you're satisfied that you're equal both left and right and forward and backwards, we can go ahead and tighten it down. And this system is pretty good. You'll insert the provided tool 
and just start spinning clockwise. Now, this motion is going to tighten both the clamp at the bottom and the crossbar itself all in one. That's what I really like about it. Once you have it snug on one side, come around to the other side and just go ahead and do the same thing. You don't want to fully clamp one side and still have the other side loose. So with both sides snug, we'll come in for a final torque. And again, this tool is gonna to do all the work for you. It will simply just click, kind of like your gas cap when it's reached the recommended torque that Thule wants. Now once you have all four feet torqued down to specifications, then we can put our end caps on. You'll see that uh, this has a flathead screwdriver and you'll turn it to lock it on like that. So to, in order to put it in, we'll be horizontal. Go ahead and match it up there and give it a quarter turn so that it's vertical and it's locked on. And that was a look at the Thule Roof Rack Kit on our 2023 Kia Telluride.